Welcome to Pure Farming 2018, and we're uh, starting off on the uh, customization page here this episode. I wanted to show you folks a little uh, something special that's been added to the game here. Uh, if you look at the uh, shirt here, I don't know if we can get a back view or not, but uh, we'll see once we're in the game if we can. Uh, you notice we got our logo on here. So, oh, about a week or so ago, uh, the developers of the game contacted me, asked if they could, uh, you know, add a shirt with my logo on it, to which, of course, I said, of course. Uh, there's also uh, shirts here for several other YouTubers as well, by the way. So, got uh, the R.D. Allen shirt here in uh, green. Excellent color choice, if you ask me. I just kind of make note of that. And then uh, a gray shirt as well. So whatever you uh, prefer here, I think we'll uh, we'll go with the green one here. Now, this is available to everyone. And in order to uh, get it here, all we have to do is go to your Steam, uh, find the game, Pure Farming, go to Properties, go over to the Beta tab here, and uh, select the Beta here. And you got to select YouTube. I don't know why it's not. Uh, probably because I have the game open. It's not going to let me uh, select anything. But... Uh, all you have to do is, from the drop-down here, you should see YouTube. Click on that. Close it. Uh, should probably take a couple minutes for it to update. And uh, once it does, you can open the game and uh, select your shirt. So, of course, like I said, a couple different YouTubers in here, myself included. So, pretty cool. Let's uh, load up our farm here and start farming then. And we're in the game here, and if you look at the uh, back of the shirt here, yes, that is the uh, R.D. Allen logo on the back of the shirt. So that's kind of cool here. If we can uh, spin around, of course, the R.D. Allen on the front. So anyway, getting back into uh, things here. Finished uh, harvesting the uh, coffee here since last up. So there's like a half a row on one of these rows here yet. I don't know. I think it's like this one here or something. has got like a half row left. So just about finished the harvest here. Uh, harvesters full didn't quite have enough room for that, and I don't think I'm going to bother, you know, just half a row there finishing that. Uh, we do need to uh, sell this here, and then I do also have a hired worker, at least there's supposed to be a hired worker, replanting our field of hemp there, so getting the uh, hemp replanted. So once we get this uh, taken care of, hopefully we'll be uh, going back to Montana here this episode. And then I'm uh, debating for next time rather than maybe, well, we'll probably have to come back and harvest the hemp, I guess. And I don't know if the coffee, you know, we'll probably, coffee should be ready to harvest again too, I would think. But uh, thinking maybe we'll head to uh, Japan next. Definitely want to check out the rice harvesting. Haven't done anything with that yet here in uh, Pure Farming. I'm thinking we're going to do that next here for other countries to visit. Also, still have not found a better way to handle the coffee here yet. Pretty much drive all the way to the sell point, sell it, and drive all the way back, which is the reason, by the way, I'm not going to worry about the other uh, half a row there. It seemed worth it to me to you know, have to uh, harvest it, drive all the way back over to the uh, sell point here just to sell maybe $100 worth of coffee. This is uh, definitely one part where I wish there was a better way to do this, and I don't know. Maybe there is. I'm not aware of one, though. Oh, yeah, we got our Landini tractor there. I forgot all about that. Outside of having it at the shop there, we could probably almost maybe take that tractor back with us. Um, don't really need it for anything that I know of, so... Obviously, we've got our kind of two big tractors here, and those have pretty much been handling all the work here. Uh, especially with the uh, larger, or the, not necessarily larger, but hillier field on this map here. Definitely benefits from having a larger tractor. Uh, speaking of planting, I did purchase a planter here for this map, just the small Great Plains Cedar. I forgot we, uh, I think we purchased the Great Plains on this map, if I remember correctly. Then we uh, took it back with us to uh, Montana. I'd forgotten we had uh, done that. So, and obviously I forgot to take it back with us here when we uh, transported ourselves over this way. And one other thing uh, worth mentioning in this game as well. It is currently on sale. If you're interested or looking to get this game, definitely a good time to get it. It is uh, currently 33% off. I believe it's supposed to be on sale here for the next week here or so. 
both the uh, regular version of the game and the deluxe version of the game. Oh, wait, what? Go this way. Wait. I think I know the way by now, and so I somewhat do here, but. Been uh, driving that way quite a few times here now. Uh, the developers are also asking if I could uh, mention the uh, fact that they've uh, been making some serious changes and add-ons to the game here. And in case you have not noticed, there is now a GOATS DLC for the game. It is free. Uh, there's also the Orange Orchard. Orange Orchard. <laughs> Say that a couple times fast. Uh, DLC, also free. Uh, the front loader, the JCB front loader has been added to the game. Uh, you know what? In fact, maybe we should uh, tab down to the shop. I didn't. I have not looked at it all yet. It's probably outside our price range at this point, but uh, we can at least uh, take a look at it in the shop anyway. That is. Oh, good. The hired worker's still working. Oh, uh, can we not? We're not gonna be able to get up in the shed there. Oh, that's a bummer. And maybe we'll just park alongside the other harvester outside the shed. go yeah hey, looks like he's making uh, some pretty good progress here. a little over half done see so, yeah, we will kind of have to wait for him to finish here before we transfer back to uh, Montana I don't know if there's actually anything else for us to do here other than uh, let's maybe go shopping here look at the uh, JCB uh, let's see, tractors, the Landini is down there. Oh, you know what? I guess I could look at it from the, uh, the tablet here as well. Buy a machine. Uh, probably under loaders. Possibly. Ooh, for it for the JCB large wheel loader. Kind of looks like the Strim Tech one in a farming simulator there. Okay, I don't see it there. What, uh, I wonder what category of tractors, maybe? Ah, there it is. Okay. This is one thing I'll, I'll have to say. That I think they still need to work on this yet. They need, they need to break up these categories a little bit more, like uh, cultivation there. Plows, cultivators, planters, and some other miscellaneous cultivation stuff all under one category. It's like, break it up, please. Plows, cultivators, planters, make them all different uh, categories. Like, you know, having the JCB here under tractors. It makes sense to me having it under loaders, but that's that's just me, I guess. Uh Oh, it's a zero dot. Oh, we can't afford one, except I don't know that we uh, need one here. So we'll see what's maybe on uh, maybe on Montana there we'll get one. Also, I believe they added another JCB here as well. Is it the 83, 30, or 40? I don't know. I think they added one of the JCBs here as well. Maybe it's the black one I'm thinking of. I think there was a new one here, but could be wrong on that. Uh, anyway, they were mentioned here since uh, the game has been released. They have fixed 130 plus bugs, uh, 70 plus game features that have been improved or added. So that's pretty cool. So, like I was saying, there free goats DLC, uh, new machines. We're kind of just mentioning that uh, first person mode. Well, let's see what's there. actually. Yeah, there we go. So first person mode here. Oh, that's the wrong button. There we go. Or, obviously, back to a third person here. Uh, realistic mirrors, steering wheel support. Ooh, which uh, reminds me, I do need to uh, check that out, see how well it works with farming simulator wheel. I have not tried that yet. Uh, they've worked on the AI improvements, so I will have to say yes. The AI is definitely a lot better than when it first started. Still, uh, still derpy, though. Still derpy in kind of the same way the farming simulator hired workers are. Uh, they've also added weather forecast and better graphics, which I can uh, attest to that as well. Although, weather, I haven't really seen much change as far as, like, drastic changes to the weather. Be interested to see if we get, like, a thunderstorm or something. That'd be kind of cool. Anyway, rather than uh, getting our exercise here, let's just tab back. Oh, is he almost done planting? It looks like he is close.
And like I was saying, again, a reminder, by the way, if you like the uh, RDL and T-shirt here and want to wear it in the game, just uh, have to go to your Steam library there. Right-click on the, the Pure Farming in your library. Go to Properties. Go over to the Beta tab there and uh, select the YouTube Beta. It's not really a beta per se. But uh, just select YouTube there from the uh, drop-down. I think he's on his last row here. Oh, and he's... Uh, the cedar that's uh, skewed like that, or is the tractor? Looks like it's the cedar. Notice how the yeah, that's why. You see how the cedar's at a funny angle there? Because we're on a hill here. Rather annoying how it does that. Farming Simulator used to do that as well. I think they finally uh, I don't know if they changed something or fixed it so it doesn't anymore, but. As badly, let me put it that way. It doesn't do it as badly, typically. You notice on this end, it doesn't look like he misses so much on the headland. That end, when he turns around, apparently he doesn't turn around quite so well. Uh, again, we did not plow this field, just from my understanding here. I know it says it's not plowed there, but I don't believe it has to be, so... It would be nice if there was actually maybe a better indication of when it has to be plowed. Uh, per the game manual there, I believe it said every fourth time, I think it was. Kind of interesting, you know, farming similar every three times. They made this game every four times. Oh. Oops, I didn't fall. Uh, yeah, that's weird. It's a three-point mounted. Yeah, there's no reason why this cedar should be cocked sideways like this. There we go. wonder if that would have helped. Still not sure why it did that then. I was thinking it was on a pivot there, but no, it's not. It is fixed to the uh, three-point arms there. So like I said, shouldn't be uh, skewing sideways when it's planting on a hill like that. Unless the whole tractor is. Anyway, that should do it here for Columbia for the time being. Like I said, we'll have to wait for the crops to grow. Um, probably should come back and spray the field here at some point as well. And uh, I'm assuming the coffee probably needs to be sprayed too. But we'll see once what we can do about that in the future here. Let's uh, head back to Montana then. Uh, where are we going here again? Right. Travel. Transfer to the USA. Uh, do we need to take anything with us? Uh, do we want to take the plow with us? That might not be a bad... Let's do that. Which one is the plow here? I'm not actually even sure which one the plow is. Let's uh go to a vehicle store here. Cultivation. Plows are... That's the Maximus. Okay, the Maximus. We'll just uh, take that back with us here, I guess. Actually, it's not that expensive. So not really that big of a deal. Eh, you know what? Let's Okay, we'll leave it here then. Leave it. Leave it. I think it was only, like, what, 15000 for it if we go to the shop to purchase it, so... Oh, Trailer Dolly allows you to connect a trailer designed for trucks to a tractor. Oh, yeah, here it says uh, plow every fourth harvest. So I was just uh, saying there. Of course, with the potatoes there, apparently you got to plow every single time. Oh, and I just noticed something. Anybody notice with a the picture there? They are plowing the wrong way. Tisk tisk, developers. You're plowing the wrong way. Okay, so I'm not even sure what we have going on on Montana here anymore. Let's, uh... Ah, okay. Somebody was uh, mentioning this. Uh, with the uh, mod attractors here, they're not both showing up. Uh, the reason is, if you own more than one of them here, and apparently mods fall under the same tractor for some reason, don't ask me why. That must be something they changed. But you can see I can select the John Deere and the New Holland. Of course, you know, only have one JCB. 
same thing here. But if you were to say have more than one Zetor, rather than being added to the wheel here, it would just be a list on the side. So again, going back to the uh, John Deere here, you can see it's a list. Doesn't tell you which one, unfortunately. It just says distance, distance. So you got John Deere and then New Holland. Okay, then. So where are we at here? We probably have lots of plowing and lots of cultivation and planting to be done. Not to mention we have goats we can uh, check out here. I'm not sure where... What, tell us where the goats are on the map here. Livestock buildings? Chicken coops. No, we want goats. Where are goats? Goat pen. Oh. Okay, well, not too far away, I guess. That one is, wow, that is that one's a long ways away. Fortunately, I don't think we can just go over there. It'd be nice if you could, uh, you know, just like click on the place and go visit the place, but uh, I guess you can't quite do that, unfortunately. Anyway, can we, uh, maybe we should uh, sleep through the night. That'd probably be a good idea. I don't know if it'll let us do it quite yet. Get started fresh in the morning here. Yeah, we can. Okay, excellent. Okay, then. Well, let's uh, start off by uh, selling that uh, atrocious little plow there. Eh, maybe we should... Uh, do we want to buy the big one first? 14,000? Yeah, actually, actually, not even 15,000. We could... Uh, object only available in the... Tr oh, can we not? Oh. We got to go down and purchase it. Okay. Well, in that case, let's uh, sell a machine here. Let's uh, sell our little plow here first. Oh, there it is. Right there. Oh, and uh, JCB would probably make the most sense to pull that with. Let's uh, take the JCB down to the shop here then. And we'll get that uh, plow picked up. Oh. Back with the lag spikes again. Really should uh, see if I can sort that out, figure out what's uh, causing that. Spike there, my goodness. Uh, double check here. I think I'm heading the right direction, right? Or maybe not. No, I'm not. No, I should have added a marker. Well, sort of. Added in the right direction. Getting to the road here, but just uh, apparently I'm taking the long way to get to it. I should have gone kind of, yes, a little more straight. Oh, well. Okay, man, you're about to get passed by a tractor. How embarrassing. Uh, anything else we need while we're here? Good question. Probably is. <laughs> the question not, can we afford anything else while we're here? Uh, still would like to get a bigger combine yet. Uh, we'll see what's maybe this time around. Uh, if we can do that, which reminds me, I still need to uh, sell the uh, crops here on the, uh, this map here. Obviously been over on Columbia working. Haven't been back to uh, Montana yet, so. 12,000. Yes, I will take that. Uh, do we have a bigger cultivator? Uh, that is XL6. Is that the big one? I 
yeah, so that is the big cultivator, right? Well, we also got this one, which is like one foot bigger, so not really that much difference. Uh, anything else we need in uh, this category? I don't think so. I think we're all set with that stuff. Uh, transportation, yeah, we're all kind of set with the transportation at the moment. Oh, we could uh, get the uh, JCB. Uh, let's do that. Let's get the JCB front loader here. Just so we can look at it. Also, uh, okay, now that we have it purchased, by the way, the next one is not free. So, yes, as somebody pointed out, you can buy the first one, or kind of sort of buy the first one, being that it doesn't cost anything, uh, for free the first time, and then uh, the second time, or if you buy a second one, then it's not free. Oh, oh ain't that pretty. The camera seems a little high, though. That's a little bit annoying, but oh well. Uh, attach accessory. Front loader mode. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let me uh, let me uh, zoom out here just a little bit more. Uh, uh, I can't really get a better view, can I? Uh, let's get away from the shop here a little bit. I'm not entirely sure what you do with this here, by the way, other than maybe... Actually, I haven't got a clue what you do with this, to be honest. I'm didn't... not aware there's anything you really move in the game. Oh, well, no, wait, I get... No, there is two. Okay. Change that, yes. Uh, biogas... Or not the biogas, uh, the bunker at the farm there where you can put grass and stuff into. Uh, you can load from that with a uh, loader there, so that makes sense. Anyway, there we go. Up, down, up, down. That is... That is fast. Actually, I kind of like that. Uh, it's maybe a little too fast, but... Of course, keep in mind your results with speed may vary. Uh, I am using a gaming mouse, which does have a fairly high DPI on it. That is probably one reason I'm able to really whip that thing. <laughs> I know I have been asked a few times before how I'm able to, uh, you know, like move the camera so fast, which I got to remember when I'm recording. I try not to do that because it does get a little annoying. But uh, at least for myself playing, I kind of like it. Ooh, light spike. Again, that, that's light spike. They're rather annoying. But uh, the reason I'm able to move the camera so fast is because of the mouse I have. That was a tree. Again, flame and leg. So yeah, well, like when I just did there, like I said, you can move pretty quickly. Uh, you know, something we also we should probably do is invest in some fields. That seems like it'd be a really wise idea. Okay, lower two the left note I want to lower to the right and I'm just gonna hire a worker here I believe this was our potato field I'm pretty sure let's say it was on here doesn't really does it like I said, I'm pretty sure this was the uh, potato field so we shouldn't have to plow any of our other fields if I'm mistaken here. I'm not mistaken anyway. All right, this tractor, other side. You keep forgetting that. New Holland, this is a mod, by the way, again. Which reminds me, I need to go uh, see what's up. There's any other good mods for this game. I keep forgetting about that. Let's go get some uh, fields uh, cultivated here. And we'll uh, read some comments here a moment while we are doing that. Uh, CJ was saying, I always enjoy the streams. Hey, thank you for that. Uh, Islamov was saying, uh, fine. 
Uh, Mike was saying John Deere is 100 years old. No other tractor has lasted that long. And I was thinking about that there, and I think he is right on that. I don't believe there's any other tractor company that has that I remember. I mean, I know some of the other tractor companies have been around for a while, but a lot of them have either been bought up or merged with other companies. So, let's see. Low. I feel, oh, we don't own this field? Well, in that case, we do now. Best crop type root plant. Oh, okay. Well, I'll have to remember that then. We'll put uh, potatoes on here then. I was uh, planning on planting uh, potatoes. Oh, which reminds me then I'm going to have to plow this field, aren't I? Okay, never mind. Uh, we'll cultivate a different field here. Also, maybe I'll uh, look at purchasing the larger... Oh, we got straw over here. I forgot all about that. Oh, okay, right. Oh, we said we were going to bail that. Okay, we'll save that here for next time then for the uh, bailing. Getting a little late this episode to uh, start that. Let's just double check the shop here. Big store. Where would we find it? Bailing equipment again. Other. Ah, yes, there it is. 15000 for that. That's not too bad. Maybe we'll just uh, purchase that right now here while we're looking at it. And like I said, uh, maybe next episode we'll get uh, started on the bailing here then. So yes, that's right. I wanted to get those uh, windrows all bailed up. I don't think there's really a sense in getting a windrower for it. Uh, it doesn't look like there's really a big windrower in the game, so... Uh, Bradley asking, what happened with Farmer's uh, Dynasty? Uh, that is actually an excellent question. I have no idea. Uh, I've kind of quit my series on it for the moment here, just kind of waiting for it to be released again. And I figure there's really not much sense playing a game you folks can't play, so... And at least the last time I looked here, it was like a week or two ago, it was not out yet, so... Um, hopefully it hasn't been taken down for good, but it is kind of starting to look that way. So for those of you who like that game, it might be no more, unfortunately. Uh, Gabriel was saying that would be funny if you could do that in real life with the uh, swapping the straw. Yeah, that is definitely uh, definitely interesting. Uh, Alex was saying we have one of those swathers. Uh, use it for canola much quicker to do it than the normal front we have. And we farm in Australia. Again, for those of you who watched last episode, or actually episode before on Automox, episode 17, uh, we were trying something a little different there for harvesting. Uh, we might give it a try again. We might have found something that might work a little better. We'll see what's here. Obviously, again, the way we were doing it isn't really exactly how it's intended to be used, uh, just because we cannot get the equipment that needs to work to work. Cameron was saying, good video, keep it up. Thank you for that. Uh, Demo was saying, love your channel. Been watching it for a long time. Do I have time lapse videos as well? Um, I do have some of them, yes. I haven't done any in the last uh, couple months here, though, so. Uh, Jeffrey was saying, I'll leave you guys alone for three days to play uh, Minecraft, and this is what you guys do? Well, Jeffrey, um, yes. We, uh, we, we do good work, obviously, huh? Anyway, everyone, on that note, I think with that, we're going to wrap up, uh the episode here. Oh, I, okay, I guess he's still... I was looking at the plow there wondering what he was doing. But, uh, yeah, if folks have any comments or questions, is it not gonna... Well, it's not gonna cultivate that, is it? Uh, if it's not plowed. Right. Okay. Uh, I keep getting interrupted here. Uh, 
wrapping up the episode. So yeah, like I said, uh, if folks have any comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them below. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time.